Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back. Welcome back to Rebecca's Gift Box for another day of, let me get it right, let me get it right, Junk Journal January. That's what we're doing, Junk Journal January. We are on, I was supposed to be doing prompt number nine, and then today is supposed to be prompt number ten, which is pop of color. Nine, nine was sepia, ten was pop of color, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna skip to um, prompt number eleven, which is stamp it out. Okay, because I couldn't find anything for for sepia. Okay, pop of color is no problem, but my mind is set on this number eleven prompt number eleven, saying stamp it out. So I'm gonna skip day nine, day ten. I'm going to go to day 11, prompt number 11. And I'm going to do some, this is my Art Impression um, Bible Journaling Stamp. It's um, number 5068 Living Water Set from Art Impressions, um, the Bible Journaling Set. And um, I'm going to be using the water well here and, and um the, the, the one that says, Jesus is the living water. This was supposed to have been my prompt for number um, that I was going to use for my Sabbath um, Saturday, Saturday, but didn't get to do it. But it's all good. It's all good. So that is what I'm going to be using today as my prompt number 11 for Stamp, stamp It Out. Um, so we're going to do the well. We're going to do the rocks. Well, the rocks is already on, is on the stamp. And then I have, let me see here. I have this stamp as well. This is the um, number number five zero seven four, the Bible flower set, and it goes with the um, the bucket and has some flowers. But this the bucket is not here. I just want to use the flowers, and this is what this stamp is for. Stamps for. So I'm going to be using those flowers on here. Just to give some flowers. Now, the, my, the, you know how, if you, if you follow my last video, which was the flowers, um, I came up with, a, I, I had a vision. And so, this vision is a desert scene with the well. Um, if you ever watched any of the Jesus um, movies, this one here is set for where Jesus is walking to the well. And um, a Samaritan one, woman is getting water and he, and he sits there and asks for some water for her to give her some water. That's my scene, okay? The well, okay? And the living water. That is my scene. So we're talking about the desert, okay? And there's not um, that much flowers, but I'm gonna put a little flowers around the well, okay? So, because it is a desert. But that's basically what I'm aiming for, okay? So, I haven't watercolored and ages, I don't know how long, but we're going to wing it. I was going to watch a video on it, but we're going to wing it and just go from there. I thought I had you closer up, so we're going to go there. So, that's what we're planning to do. That's what we're going to try to do today. I have to stamp out already, which is this one right here. Um, I do have a bucket. Isn't that? Well, here's the bucket, and then this is my quote, Okay. So that's what we're going for today. So we're going to put that on the side. I have my water brushes over here. I have my two, my brushes over here. Well, my water-based Tomboy um, markers. Now, these are the Tomboy markers. This one is number, what is this, 177. And I think, where's my case at? 177 is Dark Jade. That's what this one is here. And this one here is number five, 969. Um, 969 is Chocolate. That is as close as I'm going to get to CP, I guess. And then I have um, 636 um, is the Imperial Pur Purple that I'm, I think about using for the flowers. So that's my that's what I'm going to be using and then I got my brushes over here I have brush number this is number three this one's number three and this is number one okay so these are my brushes that I have that I'm going to be using 
there. You can see. Okay, so let's give this a try. Because like I said, I haven't stamped watercolor in a while. So I think the first thing I need to do is wet my base, right? Do I need to wet my base? I think I do. So we're going to wet this a little bit where I want to stamp at. I'm not going to stamp too much of this. I just want to get a little scene here of the sky, some desert. So that is what I'm going for. Okay, I think that's watered enough because it's circling up on me here. Okay, move this. What do I have under here? Okay, there we go. I got too much on here. Okay, so that's that. I don't have blue for my sky. So let's go for it. And this one here is number 528. And 528 is navy blue. So, like I said, I want a, a, a little sky here. So let's just make a line there. Bring my water. And we're going to. Bring it out. Just like that. Let's get this little piece up here. Just looks like it's just too much. Okay. There is my sky. Not so bad for a start, huh? Alright, so now we want to take the brown and I think I'm just going to go across the bottom like that and bring it up. maybe just a little bit Sorry about that. Okay. I think that's pretty good. What do you think? 
having some of this blue down here. Now for the stamping. Here is the stamp, and I wanted to stamp it in the brown. So we're going to we're going to take the brush here and just go over stamp. And we have to go over it really good because we want to. I want to get a really good impression on it of this stamp. If you hear any music in, uh, in the background, I'm sorry, that's my son. He's um, cleaning, trying to get his room straight now so he can move in to his room. Well, well, it used to be my craft room, by the way, but he wanted it, so. I'm in the living room now. My craft room is the living room, which I'm okay with, you know. My son needs his own space, so. Because he was in the living room, but now he's wanting his space. And my mother's house is only but so big, so. We have to work with what we have. I think we got it here. Just want to make sure I get it really good because I want to, like I said, I want a good impression, stamp impression here. I don't want to leave nothing out. Okay. Seems like I got some stamps on him. Let's see, where do I want this here? We're gonna put it right here in the middle. I think that should do it. Perfect exactly what I'm looking for. Now, then we're going to take the little brushes here. I don't think I want to take a little smudgy, but that's okay. It'll dry just as good. So I'm just going to little, a little bit here, bring it out, the rocks, give it a little color around the edges there. So we know that they're rocks. And then with the well, we're just gonna brush them around the edges there like that. Bring it out just a little bit. Like that. I am no expert when it comes to water painting, but I'm just going to, I'm just going by what it looks right to me. Like the shadows and stuff like that. So I'm just going along the lines here. That's all. This hair is pretty much, obviously I stamped, probably stamped it too long, but that's okay. 
You need to learn from somewhere, you know? And I should have just not left this damp down too long, but that's okay. Like I said, you learn from your lessons. And I think this is going to be just fine. Just the way it is. That's too white. Bring it down some. How's that? I think that's pretty good. So that is my stamp of the well. Now, I, I do want to get a stamp here of the bucket, but we're going to do the bucket to the side. And I won't leave the stamp down too long like I did with the well. Because like I said, you learn from your lessons. And that was a lesson learned. It's always good to make some mistakes, you know, so you know what not to do the next time. That's good there. We're going to stamp this like right, right there. Perfect. Just like that. Okay. Now the bucket, we're just going to do like we did just a few minutes ago. We're going to do lightly around the edges there. The handle right here. Take the handle, leave that there. White. We're going to do. I gotta do some water in the bucket. So let's go ahead and highlight this side over here a little bit. Bring this over here like that. That. And then we have this side over here of the bucket. Down there. And then we have this part from right here. And I think that's it for the bucket. Let's get some blue in there real quick. We're just going to go down here at the bottom here of the blue, make some water in there. And there we have water. Now, like I said before, I'm going to put some little flowers around, just a little, you know, a a little stamp here, a little stamp there. I don't want to put these away first because I don't want to get my stamps confused and where they go, which I shouldn't because the pictures. This goes in here, this goes in here. Just want to get these long ones here, like that one there. And just put a few around the well. That's all. That's all I want to do. So, we're going to do this one. Let's do this one. Um, we're going to do this one purple because that's what I got the purple for. Purple for the, purple for the flowers here. Like that. And the green for the stem. Okay. And so we're going to do here, here, here. Here. 
like that. That's it. And then we got. I think I'm gonna put these little little things here to go around the bottom here. If I can find it. But this is it. Let's see. We're gonna cover up the green. Don't want nothing to dry up. And we're gonna do a bunch of these purples at the bottom of those. I think that's pretty good. Now all I have to do is my little quilt. And we're going to do that. We can do that in the brown. That's the flower. I didn't use that one. Let's put that back in here. Okay. Where's my quilt? There's my quilt. There's my brush. And like I said, this one says, um, Jesus is the living water. And it's based on the, the story of the Sumerian water. I mean, it's, a, it's a, the Sumerian woman getting her water from the well. And there's a whole story behind all of, um, that, that goes on with that. And I just love that portion of, the, um, of that story. Because I'm pretty sure everybody would like to drink that living water. I know I do. Okay, that should be good. We're going to stamp this here. Right there. All right, that takes care of that. And I think my stamping portion is set. And I just need to do a little to fill in those spots. Okay, don't want to do it too much. I'm just going around in a circle on them. Just to fill it in. So it looks like there's something. I don't want to distort the picture. The flowers are not the same. Neither one. You know what I mean, right? And that is my stamp. Now, I, I probably need some paper in the background. You no, know, just something to go underneath it. So I have my little bucket here of scraps that we're going to go with. And I'm gonna zoom you out just a little bit. And so we can put some scraps in the background. Like this little bad boy right here. 
if I want that to go there. But you know what? I don't think I need this big piece. So we're going to go with a little piece like that. So let's go ahead and rip this one side over here as well. We're going to rip this top portion here as well. And we're going to go. Let's go ahead and just do all sides. <laughs> thought I was going to need just the three sides, but we're going to put that there. We have this little piece, well, it's not little, but this piece here that we're going to use. some color. So let's look for some color. I just need a small piece to go there. I just want a small piece to go there. Right, right there. Maybe another piece to go on the other side. I think I'm gonna go with that. I don't want too much. I just want something. Like that. Okay? So I'll get my glue stick, purple buddy, and glue this down. I think with the cold weather, I think this cold weather is affecting my glue because it's definitely not cooperating with me. Does everybody see the same thing with their glue, with their glitter glue? Having the same problem? Because I am having all sorts of problems with my glitter glue, being that it's cold. Cold weather just not cooperating with me. Okay. 
Okay, one more piece. So I'm hoping everybody is enjoying this, whoever's participating is enjoying doing the collaboration here of the Junk Journal January, as I am. So we're going to glue this down. Hopefully it'll stick. <laughs> this is water paper. It's kind of thick. So I probably got to put a book or something on top. And that is it. We are set. My prompt number 11 for. All right, so today's date is 01. Um, what is today's date? 17th? I think it's the 17th. 17, 22. We're on prompt number 11, which is prompt number 11 is stamp it out. Stamp it out. And that is that is my journal entry for today for stamp stamp it out. We used the water well, the bucket, we had some flowers here, this, all stamps. And the stamps that I used were all um, art impressions, art impression stamps. I didn't use that one, that was, I was thinking about using that one. Um, art impressions, my, the Bible journaling stamps, that's are the two that I used. And one was the well, which is the Living Water Set, 5068, and the other one was Bible Flower Set, 5074. So, and that is what I use today. And thank you for joining me in my adventure, in my journey here um, to accomplish my goal for this year is to, is to make a video at least every day or something um, for um, in, in my craft. So, if you like what you see, please like, um, subscribe, and I hope you continue to, to join me in my journey for this year of my, meeting my goal and accomplishing my goals. And hope to see you then. Have a blessed day. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.